Hi there everyone, welcome to my channel today. Today I've got a H&M haul and a Zara haul and trial video for you. I picked up a few pieces in store in Zara, not quite enough actually to make a whole video from. So I thought I'd combine those with the pieces that I've just picked up from H&M online. I've got a real mix of things to show you. I've got dresses and trousers, jeans, tops, bags, even got a few coats and scarves in there as well. So there's more there to show you than what I thought there was actually. So let's not hang around, let's get straight into it. I'm gonna start with this absolutely gorgeous white blazer from Zara. It's double breasted, which is not usually my kind of style of blazer, but I absolutely adore this. It's a gorgeous cut and shape and fit. The fabric's lovely too. It's fully lined inside. I'm not overly keen on the buttons, so I may consider changing those but it just fits so beautifully and it looks far more expensive than what it actually is. It was 60 pounds, which I think is about $65, perhaps $68, something like that. I'm not usually a size small in Zara. I'm usually a medium, so I don't know if they've been playing around with their sizes. I haven't bought anything from there in a little while, but it's such a beautiful, classic looking blazer. And there's just so many wonderful ways that this can be styled and worn. The first way I've paired it is with all black underneath. It's just one of those combinations that just always work and can be put together with what you have already in your wardrobe. For a bag, I've put it together with my Aspen of London crossbody bag. The little black vest top I'm wearing underneath is also from H&M. It was around about $12.99, which is about $16.00. Now I put it with a white bra underneath purposely so you can see how far it actually cuts across. A black bra would blend in with it much better but I think you would still see it so a strapless bra would probably be best. It's a very comfortable top though and very nice to wear underneath the blazers. I've tried the blazer with all white. These are just white jeans from M&S and this is just an old white vest top. I know it's not really an autumn outfit but this blazer will carry through to spring next year. I've tried it with a blue and white striped top. This is also H&M. It's long sleeves so a lovely layering piece for the fall and autumn. And with some navy blue cigarette trousers and these are also from H&M. I'll link these and everything I show you today below. And one other way I've tried it is with a pink shirt. Now this is the blouse I paired it with. It's a beautiful sort of dusky pink colour. I love the neckline of this blouse. There's no buttons, so it's buttonless down to there and then you have buttons all the way down to the bottom. It's quite long, so if you wanted to, you could wear this loose, hanging loose, or you can just tuck it in. Now I've got this in a size small. I've had to size down in everything I've bought from H&M. And even doing that, some of the pieces are still too big for me. It's very similar to a pink silk shirt that I showed you just recently from Lily Silk. But obviously this is a budget version. So if you like that kind of style, this is a really nice alternative. Now the white blazer also comes in navy. This is made from a slightly different fabric. This has got a little bit more texture to it. It's also double breasted. It does have pockets in there as well. Again, fully lined. It's exactly the same price. 60 pounds sort of 65 65 to 68 dollars and i also got this in a size small it's just as beautiful as the white one and a navy blazer is so classic a few ways i've tried it is with the striped top and white jeans and i've put that with a tan mulberry crossbody bag i've tried it with a navy silk shirt underneath this is from lily silk i've also tried it with the pink satin shirt underneath as well and with the navy trousers. I love navy and pink together. I think it's such a lovely combination. I'll also try it more casually like this and I'll probably try it with gray and with camel too. This blazer for certain is gonna get lots and lots of wear. Now the pink shirt I showed you also comes in brown and this color will look lovely with creams. I think it will look great with black. I've actually put it together with, with the camel blazer and some blue jeans. These are from H&M. These are the slimline high-waisted jeans. I actually got them in a size 12 and they actually fit me like a size 12 should. Here's some other ways it could be worn. It looks great with black trousers and with cream trousers and beige. This style of shirt is so handy to have in your wardrobe. They're great for work and they dress up a casual pair of jeans 
and they look really nice underneath blazers. I love the colour of these. They do come with the blazer as well, but it looked a little bit big and oversized for me. So I just got the trousers. They're very gathered at the front, which is a style actually that I don't usually like. I usually prefer more of a flat fronted trouser, but I'm surprised how much I like them. They're on a fitted waistband. They do up with a button and two hooks and eyes, and they're just a really nice shape. They're a straight leg, and I just thought the colour was so vibrant and lovely for the winter. Put them together with the black vest top I showed you before and a really old black blazer. Strangely, the lining of the blazer actually matches the trousers, so it actually looks like they should go together. And I've put that with the black crossbody bag. Now this is the first coat that I've got to show you. This one comes from Zara. It was uh, 60 pounds and I actually got this one in a size medium. Now this is a coat not for the deep depths of winter if you need something to keep you warm. It's more of a dress coat and maybe more for autumn. The first way I've tried it is with the black skirt and a white roll neck and some black tights. Now I'm not sure if you're ready to wear tights yet or not, but if you are, I do have a code for 10% off at Sheertex. This isn't sponsored, it's just I've got a discount code for you, which I thought you might like. These tights are very long lasting and incredibly comfortable, so I'll leave that below for you. Because the coat isn't a thick fabric, the jumper doesn't feel very bulky underneath it, so it's actually quite a nice coat to wear with knits and sweaters. This is the second coat I've got to show you. This is from H&M. Now this is a wool blend. I got this in a size 12. Oh, I can't remember the price, I'm afraid, but I will link it below for you. It's very heavy, so I'm not gonna be able to hold it up there for very long. It's a wrap coat. It does up with two buttons. It's got a uh, belt as well. What I loved about this is the big collars. You can turn them up, it'll keep your neck warm, but it looks really great too. I tried it in the same way as the white coat with tights, heels, a skirt and a white knit and I've just popped the collar. It's actually a belted wrap style coat which I think sometimes can look a bit like a dressing gown but the collar stops it looking like that. Now to the coat I've added this beautiful cashmere scarf. It comes in two colours this gorgeous camel and this dark grey. Two very classic sophisticated looking colours. They go so well together or with other colours. I've tried both with a camel coat and they both go with the black coat too. This is a lovely casual and cosy striped knit sweater. This is in a size small, it still comes up quite big though. I really like this v-neck line and the collar as well. The only thing I'm not overly fussed about is the sleeves. They're perhaps a little bit scruffy. They drop down just below my wrist. So I do find myself kind of hiking them up a little bit. But other than that, it is a lovely jumper for the autumn and the fall. Now this is a wrap dress from H&M. I got this in a size medium and it actually fits me just right. If you like wearing dresses in the winter or the autumn time, then this is just lovely. It's lined on the top part, but the bottom isn't lined. It says it's recycled, well, 96% recycled polyester. It's quite a strange fabric. It's got stretch to it and it's quite thick and quite heavy as well. You wouldn't want to wear this right now. It'd be way too hot. And I thought this would look lovely with some knee high boots. Lots of times in my videos, I talk about red blazers. They're not that easy to find, but this one I just saw in Zara. This one is 100 pounds, which was I guess about $115, something like that. So it's not cheap. This one is single breasted, but it does up with two buttons. And this one is also in a size medium. Now there's so many wonderful ways to wear a red blazer. Very simply, I've paired this with black underneath. They're all the same pieces I showed you before, but this time with nude flats, and these are just from Amazon. Other ways I'll wear this is with a white shirt and a crossbody bag, and with red underneath with either blue or black jeans. There's lots of lovely ways this can be worn. If you're looking for a smarter blouse, maybe something for work or for a smart occasion that you're going to, I thought this was a really nice piece from H&M. It's got a high neck and it does up with buttons and loops. It's got these lovely balloon sleeves with a cuff, which also does up with buttons and loops. It's one of those prints that could go with lots of different colours. It's got creams, it's got black in there, but it is very sheer though, so you do need to wear something underneath it. I've tried it with a camel blazer, and a black blazer and with a white blazer which I think is possibly the nicest combination. I have also tried it with a pencil skirt. 
for a, a kind of a work outfit and I've put that together with the black wrap coat. Now I purposely didn't put anything underneath it so you can see just how sheer it is but you know that's easily sorted. Now you may have seen this sweater in other people's videos and perhaps even on Instagram. It's a lovely colour, I love the navy and white stripe, really like the v-neckline and the collar too but the sleeves are a little bit weird and I'm a bit disappointed in the sleeves because it's actually quite hard to wear. I just don't find it a very flattering length on me so what I've done is double striped it with the stripe knit that I showed you before underneath. You know I just thought I'd try it, I'll probably try it with a plain white top as well. It's lovely and soft and it's very comfortable to wear, I just wish the sleeves had been a little bit longer. Now I love a hound's tooth print, I showed you this blazer that I bought from Mango just recently. Unfortunately that's sold out now. There are a few kind of similar ones around, not quite in a hound's tooth print. The only other one that I could find is this designer one which looks beautiful but it is expensive. But I think a hound's tooth or a dog tooth print can look fantastic at this time of year. H&M have got this little hound's tooth bag if you're on a budget and you wanted to add some print to your outfit. It's soft and squidgy it does up with this little clasp it does come with a shoulder strap but I didn't really like it. it looks a little bit cheap so I think the best thing to do would be to add a better quality strap onto the end here just to make it look a little bit more expensive looking so I've paired it with all black and you can see how it really adds some interest to the all black look now if you didn't like that style of bag they also do this tote bag as well it's lovely and big in there you can fit loads in there it's also got a zip compartment in there as well but the beauty of this print, it can just transform a really plain outfit, black or white. Looks great with red as well. I put it with all black and with black and red. I'm not actually sure if these are the right things to pair the bag with, but colour wise, it does look great with the black and red. 